So I got a segment here from Mr. Flipnote. Now, we've done a bunch of gaming commercials, but I have some gaming ads, print ads, from, like, magazines. Now, I subscribe to EGM, um, Nintendo Power, uh, GamePro, OPM, official PlayStation magazine, all at different times. And there were a couple other ones, too, that I forget. So I've seen some of these. But... I want to just take a look at some of these um, print ads because they seem kind of fun and it's a little different than what we've done before. Um, so, Super Nintendo, this is you with your Super NES. I, I don't like that controller. I don't like the way it looks. ASCII pad? There's so many switches. Why would you need so many of them? So, Robert Smith from The Cure is playing with the ASCII pad. It says here, Super selective turbo propulsion power, independent turbo control for all buttons. Oh. <laughs> Puts more power at your fingertips. Okay. <laughs> slow motion control. How do you even fucking manage slow motion control? Slow motion? Um, hands free auto turbo. Lets you fire 20 shots per second without even pressing a button. Clearly. Oh, spam. Pause spamming. Clearly. There's different shots per game, right? I mean... Alright. Well... That's the controller you give to your brother when you find out that it sucks. Stevie Wonder. If I could play video games, you bet it would be Atari. Come on! This can't be real! No... This one's fake? Okay, because there were some that were included. Um, Mr. Flipnote said one of these was fake. Oh my god. It was originally an ad for a pedal. Let me just read a little bit. I mean, the resolution here is pretty shit. It's just advertising the Atari. Okay. Who makes a better hero, Spongebob or a guy named Bob? I have square pants, I'm not wearing pants. Really? Soak up the new Spongebob video game this fall. If he wasn't a sponge, that would be vaguely disgusting. God damn it, Bob. Put on some fucking pants. This is the part where you find out who's smarter. You can school your family and friends in Big Brain Academy. <laughs> Compete to find out who's got the heaviest brain. That's me. In the middle there. That's me. Um, <laughs> then gloat when you find out it's yours. This can only happen on the Nintendo DS. This was a genre. Brain games. I mean, there was literally a thing called brain games, but like big brain shit. Nintendo DS was like really going for that market. Um, behead a stranger, then beautify this butterfly. So this is a game for Condemned 2? Wait, what? Committing hor horrific, unspeakable act in Condemned 2 can leave a person scarred and hollow on the inside. But not to worry. That's where coloring can help. Just get out your favorite box of pencils and go to work on making this butterfly as pretty as, it, as you can be. As can be. Uh, and then it links you to a website that's going to scar some people for life. That's cool. How did Croc find his competition? Animation. So wait, where's Sonic in this? I'm very confused about this because what does that mean? So Croc, like, sadly is no longer with us. Rest in peace, Croc. All right, we got Mario, Crash Bandicoot, and Lara Croft, of course, ass and titty shadow in the same shadow. It's very important. No Sonic the Hedgehog. You would think if he's going up against mascots, it might be like Spyro. Well, honestly, this is... I know why they included Lara Croft. You probably know why they did as well. Delicious! Oh, it's a part two. Like Lara Croft, Croc has more moves than you can shake a stick at. Move over Mario and cruise by crash. Croc rocks. Okay, game pro. Croc is looking to be one of the best 3D platform games of the year. 
You know, there's a real easy response to this ad. I'm not going to say it. But, Croc's not a bad game. I give it that. At last, a superstar that blows more out of his nose than he snorts up it. What? Is a cocaine joke in a newspaper or something? Echo the Dolphin, a huge leap in game concept, sensational graphics, scintillating underwater action, silky smooth animation, best Mega Drive game ever. Only $39.99, actually, that's not bad. Well, listen, this dolphin's not doing cocaine, so thank God for that. Amass power, destroy your enemies, and make millions doing it. Yes, it's the 80s all over again. Yeah, the Play It Loud campaign was certainly a weird time. Um, come on, admit it. You just love to strap on those suspenders, slather on the hair gel, play a good old-fashioned game of leverage buyout. Well, take heart. Those kinder, gentler days may be gone, but their spirit lives on with arcade classics on Game Boy and Super Game Boy. Hang on, I need to sound more bored. All your favorite 80s games, hostile takeovers aside, are back. Now in two-in-one game packs. Asteroids together with missile command. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how they read things at this time. Like, line reads were bored and, like, real tired sounding. But yeah, that dude's face is definitely going to make me buy these games. Ultra New Age Gadgetry from Nintendo Laboratories. It's Nintastic. Amaze your friends. Be the first on the block to own this piece of future. This is semi-appropriate music for this. Uh, listen, this is just Game Boy Camera. It's kind of a clever ad. Be prepared to be thoroughly impressed with this, the newest innovation in portable gaming that instantly turns any Game Boy into a camera. How does this marvel of the Jet Age work? Easy as one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I think this is... this is fine, but if you, you know, if you don't like reading, then this is not an ad for you. Then he show me your funt. Game Boy Pocket, now in six tasty colors. Okay, first of all, what is this flesh wall? This is like something out of a square soft game from the 90s that, like, you'd have to beat in Secret of Mana. Just the tongue flesh wall. It, it is a very scorny commercial. Or, uh, sorry, a print ad. But, I mean, I guess this worked. Uh, this is also still early 90s-ish. Mid? Mid nineties, um, the tongue on the right with the with the veins makes me a little uncomfortable. But also the the bluish one, and then you have the long yellow tongue. In the nineties, tongue color changing candy was popular. Also, tongue destroying candy. Did you know that there were people that had warheads that had so many of them that they actually like the acid scraped off tongue. That was sick. In literal sense of the word. Game Boy, more fun than a ferret down your trouser. Okay. Okay. Someone call Richard Gear for this ad. There were talk of ferrets. Important things to do. Save the planet. Save the whales. Save $50 on a Game Gear supersonic sports pack. Buy the Supersonic Sports Pack and you'll get a color portable Sega Game Gear, a deluxe carry-all case, and two hit games, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Major Pro Baseball. Buy it for Father's Day. Buy it for graduation. Just buy it and you'll save 50 bucks. Hey, maybe you could use that money to help save some humpback. Then again, maybe you could buy Streets of, Streets of Rage 2. It's your dough. Uh, do, do not, do not commit to charitable causes please buy these games humpback please <laughs> fuck the whales just buy the games please over 25 million lives will be saved not those of the humpbacks yo video dudes with game genie you'll never die a reckless video death 
Because Game Genie grants you the stellar video powers on most popular video games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was a time where video was like a cool word and was associated with gaming. Like um, in Captain N, it was Video Land. Like, you may live forever, never die, or you can get unlimited firepower and super jumps. Maybe, maybe even moonwalk the most triumphant game characters across the screen, or program them to do much more. So you may ask, what is the key to this most awesome power? The power codes, dude. Thousands of them that allow you to unlock all those excellent secrets. So party on with Game Genie and save that most righteous life of all. Yours. Look at the game screenshots in the bottom. It's just like, is that Dizzy the egg? It's like generic. I don't think they could legally use real video games in that print ad. Friends don't let friends play unprotected. Huh. Game Shark for PlayStation. But it's a condom. <laughs> um, it's risky out there. Too often people lose their lives or damage their health for no reason. Smart gamers make sure they use Game Shark. Responsibly select from pre-programmed or easily updated codes for infinite health, endless ammo, extra speed, and more. It's your choice. Those were the days. This was like, you know, this is how you got the most out of your video games. Now you have to pay for that. Well, I guess you have to pay for this too. But one time, you know? And it wouldn't just make new levels. Though... There were rumors. I remember there being some rumors about Game Genie that you could, like, use it to unlock new levels that didn't exist otherwise. And it's like, maybe, maybe a couple games, but no. You'd, you'd have to... They'd have to be in the game somehow. Get the title that just might drive you crazy. Actually, yes, because this game fucking sucks. Fester's quest takes the skeletons out of the closet for a trip to outer space. I actually don't like this game at all. I think most people probably wouldn't like it very much. Resident Evil. Use your bullets wisely. You may want to use the last one on yourself. Holy shit. Wow. Arguably the best PlayStation game of all time is now available for the PC in its original uncensored entirety. It's bloodier, more violent, and contains all the gruesome, never-before-seen footage that was cut out of the console version. Part of you will want to uncover the grisly mysteries that dwell within. Part of you will wish you'd never set foot inside. Yeah, you know, we might... Uh, I got an idea for a print ad. Just, how about we recommend suicide, huh? Yeah, that's, that's good. I just imply it. You know what, Tinky Winky? I like your idea. The fuck? Paradise Lost. What went wrong? Yo. Yo? Henrietta Emerson, deceased, former charity worker and treasurer of the Wives of Foreign War Veterans, killed tragically during anti-video game violence protest rally. What the fuck is this? Ronald Wanker, mental health technician, employed at Paradise Psychiatric Center for 27 years, fatally wounded by multiple bullet wounds. This is Postal 2. Jamie, uh, sorry, Jenny Peters, age 17, high school senior. Um, majorette in local youth marching band. Death caused by third degree burns inflicted by exploding napalm. Postal 1. Yeah, you can't, yeah, I don't think this would fly at all anymore. <laughs> Holy fuck. That is intense. Edgy as fuck. And also... It doesn't even say the name of the game. And yes, Postal was always an edgy series. It's just a little bit unexpected, you know? And there's like, where's the game? Jet Moto Racing is back with an all-new 3D racing engine that delivers sharper graphics, faster speed, and more adrenaline. Jostle and fight for position on 19 killer tracks and 11 insanely fast hover bikes. It's the wicked speed you've always wanted, without all the tickets. 
Jet Moto. All right. Leon S. Kennedy in Biohazard 4. They just photoshopped Leon into a press conference. Okay. Postal 1 was admittedly really fucked up, but 2 was a lot lighter in mood. Well, 2 was like comedy violence. They were going for that kind of thing, weren't they? Um, life in the zones. Hannah was wasted. Last night, she'd partied in four different time zones. Virtual zones? I wonder if there's a part two to this ad that is... No, this is the order that the, they were given to me. What an awful print ad that is. Hang on a second. I, I am playing through um, Mario Talent music. That's what all this is. Yeah, that's that's a strange ad. Okay, uh, didn't that that does not sell me at all on anything. I don't know what it's selling. So, March twenty uh, first, March two thousand three. Lara Croft step in, step aside because Samus Aran has returned in Metroid Prime for the GameCube again. Lara Croft referenced. I mean, there's really not much here other than a, a picture of Samus. And I'm pretty sure that's not even a screenshot. I'm pretty sure that's a... Uh, you know what that is? That's a still from the commercial of the live-action Samus suit. Unless it's a render. I'm not sure. A grown-up planet jump in shoot 'em up game that reinvents a classic Nintendo franchise from Rolling Stone magazine. Huh. And then this is the companion piece to that, because it looks kind of similar, but it's a completely different game, completely different system. I, I want to be Game Boy Head for Halloween. This is great. Game Boy SP Head. It's for Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls. Strategy RPGs are about to get a serious kick in the ass. This guy, uh, Hour of Darkness. Featuring The Invasion from Within by Tsunami Bomb. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't, know. I don't know. Spyro. Come with a Spyro. Sorry, come with Spyro to a magical enchanted kingdom and set fire to it. This is Spyro 2. Spyro's back, and this time he's ready to show us what being a real hero is all about. He's better equipped to do it, too, with new moves, new skills, and a pair of brand spanking new wings. All the better to get him through this huge new game. So what are you waiting for? Let's get burning. Jack and Dax, or Jack X Racing. Why is someone from Bloodborne measuring his, uh, his body? <laughs> Someone from Bloodborne is just Abraham Lincoln wannabe. Oh, it's like an Undertaker. I get it. I get the picture. He's measuring him for a coffin. You won't believe what they're putting inside Keebler products these days. Is that the- oh, 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 hang on, there's a part two. Oh, it's an instant win thing. Who says free Sega equipment doesn't grow on trees? It does when it's the Keebler hollow tree. This year, Ernie the Elf and Sonic the Hedgehog team up to make bringing home the hottest new equipment free as easy as Run to the store! Look for these guys! Open the bag to see if you're a winner! Did anyone win this? Anyone in chat win this? Let me know. Actually, don't. You like Kirby? Have s'more. Oh, Kirby Superstar, okay. Get ready for a smorgasbord of Kirby action. Kirby Superstar. Eight tasty games in one. 
and this time the softy has an edge. Now he not only eats his enemies, he can take their powers. 23 to be exact. In this world, you are what you eat, or who you eat. Chow down on a ninja, and Kirby goes kung fu fighting. <laughs> you can even hock up the bad guys and use them as helpers, so prepare yourself, because this time the marshmallow's doing the roasting. They are so trying to make Kirby appeal to a Western audience, and they make him mean, like they do in the box arts. They're trying to make him edgy. Like, ah, oh, this time he's doing the roasting. Like, all right, I get it. Kirby's, like, maybe not the coolest character to get into when you're, like, a teenager trying to get into, like, more mature things. But, I mean, come on. He's cute. Look at him. You can't fool me. Yes, that is a gun in our package, and we are happy to see you. Bring on the big guns. Lethal Enforcers has shot point blank from the arcade hit to two home formats, Sega CD and Sega Genesis. I'm not going to read all this, but I like the, uh, the dick pun. Apparently a good game, but bad port. Raise some hell on your Game Boy color. <laughs> Adam Sandler is Little Nicky, and now he's coming to Game Boy Color. Battle his evil brothers, possess people, and fight demons in this quest to save the world. It's one hell of an adventure. So I remember three things from Little Nicky. Here's the things I remember. I'm pretty sure I played this game a little bit, and it was terrible. If not, I didn't play it, and it's terrible. I remember three things. I remember Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. I had never heard of Popeye's before. That this movie was the first time I heard of it. I remember the voice. And I remember Kevin Nealon with boobs on his head. That's it. Oh, and Ozzy Osbourne, I think, showed up. What the fuck? So it's a Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga ad. With um, multiple hands. Wee oui, wee. Oui. work together Mario's way cool time machine join Mario as he races through time on the wildest adventures tromp through the Jurassic period with a giant T-Rex sail with Cleopatra in Egypt you can even visit Thomas Edison in his workshop you'll get to witness some of the greatest historical moments of all time on a high-flying cock-sucking fun-filled ride so whether you want to meet Bill Shakespeare or President Abe Lincoln, Mario's Time Machine is a cool, way cool ride with fun, excitement, and adventure. Fucking sucks. You gotta learn. Mortal Kombat, so real it hurts. I remember this one. I absolutely remember this one. Yeah. They're just like, I, that counts. They're coming out of the arcade. That's the, the arcade. Um, they're coming out of the TV, so that's one. All right. Head lube and oil change, $39.99. Drain your brain pan and fill her up with Mystic Quest, the world's first role-playing game especially designed for entry-level player. It's got easy-to-read icons, constantly changing 16-bit characters, and lots of heady combat to keep your synapses greased and firing. Yeah. I mean, I, I like, um, I like the brain. Head Lube, that's a great name for a band or something. It's a pretty good game. It is Babby's first RPG, but it's got some great music. If you're still playing Sega, NEC, or Nintendo, you're nothing but a weenie. If you're playing the incredibly high-powered Neo Geo system, you're a real hot dog. <laughs> okay, but you sold me. I fucking love hot dogs. That one looks awesome. Look at it. It's got all the stuff on it. Tough talk, but think it over. Why fool around with limp, underpowered, 16-bit systems when Neo Geo now offers the hottest, most advanced video entertainment system in the world? Would you rather be a cold weenie or a real hot dog? A lot of dick jokes. We got a limp hot dog. On September 30th, dinosaurs will fly. 
because on that day, the home entertainment world starts spinning at 64 bits. Live your dream. N64 and its revolutionary 3D controller will send you as far into the game as you dare go. Over the top. Out. On the edge. Choose your hero. James Bond, Ken Griffey Jr., Super Mario, or even Darth Vader. Okay. All right. Well, well, hang on a minute. So Darth Vader is a hero? Oh, it's like the crawl of episode three. There were heroes on both sides. I think Ken Griffey Jr. could probably take on Darth Vader, though. I gotta be honest. And you couldn't even play as Darth Vader in Shadows of the Empire. Well, I like the, uh, I like the art. It's the best thing I've ever seen. God. <laughs> what a great way. Yo, I, I fucking, I have a, a thing on my Twitch page. If you scroll down for merch, I have a quote. Hang on, my quote says, um... This is a good shirt, Jesus. So, I mean, I didn't know this was a thing, but I, I like it. This is good. That's a good way to advertise. The most fun since I created the Earth. Nintendo 64 is, well, 64-bit, which means it's three times more powerful than any other system. They love to boast about that power. Mightier than the most, than most home PCs. And the hand controller has a joystick, so I have complete freedom to move around in the 3D universe. Praise be. <laughs> Are you ready to have a threesome in the back of a cab? It, yeah. Cabs are fucking filthy. So sure. Are you ready to engage? Pre-order the revolution in wireless multiplayer gameplay in store or online. Hey chat. Do you see Goatsy in the end gauge or or no? Interesting, right? I don't mind if my boyfriend plays with himself later. Panzer Dragoons wise, Vi? Panoramic World of Wonder on every level, all hell breaks loose. A game with balls, Sega Saturn. <laughs> okay. Wow, she looks. She couldn't be less interested in being a part of this ad. This is a classic. I I, I had a, a magazine with this in it. I remember I really liked this one. Free demo. This actually might be one of the best print ads I've ever seen. I mean, you do get some screenshots. Um, you get a little bit of text at the bottom. Mario's back with a paper thin look in his own RPG adventure. This time he's got new sidekicks and over 200 badges and items for new abilities and attacks, which means he may be paper, but he ain't no lightweight. Just a fun little ad. Maybe not the best, but like definitely one of the most fun. Um, hello ladies. Fancy a foursome? Okay, threesome in a cab, and now this motherfucker wants to do a foursome. And he's dripping cum from his mouth. Anyway, buy Rayman 2 in The Great Escape. In March. 2031 AD. We're almost there. When they finally developed an eight-way TV, Dan was able to play all his favorite games at once. Of course, it took 40 years to master them all. If you're sick of games that don't stand the test of time, sit down to the challenge, excitement, and innovation of this radical collection from Renovation. And just see how long the fun can last. Let's see if I've heard any of these games. Aaron Flash. Whip Rush. X Granada X. Gain Ground, Final Zone, Arkless Odyssey, Gargars, Valis 3. I've never I've never heard of those games. I'm not saying I know everything. Like Gain Ground is a classic. Okay, so uh, chat members say there's a couple really good games in here. So that's cool. I I just hadn't heard of them, but um we're getting close to 2031. Does anyone have one of them eight-way TVs yet? Where you can watch, like, people fingering each other's buttholes on every side of your screen? 
What was it from Idiocracy? No, no, no. I'm talking about Idiocracy, where they kick each other in the balls. Something like that. Uh, Mommy, what are those two Sega machines doing? They're making an arcade system, dear. Oh, sex. That's another sex ad. Yeah. That's cool. Good for you. Hey, fat boy, this year, keep the socks and give me Sega Channel or Rudolph Burgers hit the grill. Get me? Love, Bobby. We know how bad you want Sega Channel, so we made it easier for you to get it. Okay, put down the rope and chloroform. <laughs> if you want Sega Channel, tell your parents about our special holiday deal. Get up to 50 slamming games a month. Yeah, you can play 50 games a month. Eat a dick. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I mean, it is ahead of its time, for sure. This is just Game Pass back in the day, but uh, the fact that they're, they're about to, like, put Rudolph on the grill? Damn, dude. My Billy's is 12 inches long, black and hard, and great fun to play with in the bedroom. Uh, good timing on the music stopping. That was not me that did that. So my Johnny Sega console... So's my Johnny Sega console, but he doesn't scream when I plug it into the wall socket. Oh, one of them actually is talking about a dick. Confirmed. Sega with the brilliant marketing. No, this, the word fucking is in there. A damn sight more fucking interesting than the rest of the shite they put on telly these days. No. No. Is this is like it's Scotland? It's not official. Okay. Well, uh, Nigel and Mandy Schatz's main source of amusement was a light bulb until they discovered Sega. <laughs> Look at this fucking ad. It's Rasputin again. Where'd they get that photo from? Like... <laughs> yeah, that that's a corpse. They just stood a corpse up. It was a UK adult magazine. Oh, that explains a whole lot. The more you play with it, the harder it gets. I remember this ad. This is real. And I remember it. Yep, I still probably have the magazine somewhere. You sit there, eyes glued to the writhing arcade quality graphics, pulling and squeezing your knob. <laughs> now you're breathing heavily over the digital stereo sound. Now you're shooting all over the place, but it's no use. Game over. Okay, maybe I didn't have this. Maybe this is one of those internet ads that I uh, I saw. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, this just can't be. I... <laughs> I, I almost certainly did not have a magazine with this ad in it. Never mind. Jesus Christ. You get to goon your joystick, everybody. That might be one of those ones I just saw online and confused it. But regardless, it's... It's probably real. I'm sure someone knows exactly where that's from. Oh, so here's um, another Sega ad. Hard stuff. Why should the military have all the fun? Now you can blow people away from across the country. <laughs> Saturn Netlink brings full screen, full speed online gaming smack dab into your sweet little home. When you're done kicking long distance butt, surf the net trade email or chat with others through the Netlink browser. Yeah. Yeah, an explosion behind the Twin Towers. Maybe. It well, it'll be 9 11 in nine minutes, uh, weirdly enough. Uh, so, yeah. Come all ye faithful. 
The mighty armies of light and dark have gathered. The future of the fragile world hangs in the balance. Will you follow the force for good by becoming Sonic the superhero in a race for worldly peace? Or perhaps will you succumb to the dark and dastardly shadow and reap terrible destruction upon the earth? The time has come. Choose your hedgehog leader wisely. <laughs> Someone worships Sonic the Hedgehog. There's like probably a couple people in the world that actually worship. And like pray to him and shit. Sonic has a new light speed dash. Too bad your lame ass reflexes are the same. Oh. Yuji Naka's warp speed 3D adventure through 40 expansive worlds of bonus rounds uh, and mini games where a six playable character snowboard, play pinball, fly, and even talk. And even talk. Wait, Sonic is in jail? Oh shit, I didn't know that. No, Yuji Naka's in jail. What's blue and pisses all over everything? Sega have taken delivery of Sonic the Hedgehog. On all formats, Master System, Mega Drive, and Game Gear. Sega, to be this good takes ages. To be this good takes Sega. Oh, you get it? Ages? Backwards, right. We got a couple more ads, not too many. Some hedgehogs you just don't mess with. Sonic the Hedgehog, the new hero for Sega. 16-bit Mega Drive. Remember when Sega was new and so was Sonic? I don't. That was a little gormless. Yeah, there's a this face is, is a little gormless, I agree. By the way, gormless doesn't really even necessarily mean Ugly, like gormless, lacking sense or initiative. So, I mean, we're using gormless wrong, but I like the way we're using it. Like if like you're full of gorm or you lack gorm, I just enjoy the word very much. Um, I feel like I've seen this one. Maybe not. Maybe I, it's hard to remember anymore, so never mind, but... Guess who is starring in their own Sega Genesis game? Connect Fleas for answer. It's Ren Stimpy. Yep. I'm not doing it. Hell no. I can't even draw on the screen. Oh, it's Glunch, everybody. That's who it was. Why did the hedgehog cross the road to get to Super Mario Land? <laughs> How much fun can you handle? <laughs> Wait, what? Alright. I remember a lot of ads like this. Again, growing up with these magazines, this was just normal. And it was like, yeah, just lots of teeth and, and like close-ups of faces with, like, dramatic lighting, like, Suspiria lighting. Um, violence at time. At times. Yeah, eyeballs, vagina dentata. Tetris, now even harder. This is Tetrisphere. It has the same great taste of Tetris, only in 3D. You center on penetrating its core. It centers on stopping you. I mean, it's a striking image. I don't mind that one. Oh, this is classic. There's no such thing as a Nintendo. There's the Nintendo Entertainment System. There's Nintendo Game Software. And there's Nintendo Power Magazine. But there's no such thing as a Nintendo. You see, Nintendo is an adjective, not a noun. It's our registered trademark that identifies the high quality products marketed and licensed by Nintendo of America, Inc. So please, use our trademark carefully. And never use it generically to describe all video game products. We thank you. Mario thanks you. No? I realized that my Hotel Mario voice just sounds like slightly higher-pitched Mike Ehrmantraut. It just took me that, like, this long. That, yeah, Nintendo just didn't want people calling things Nintendos. And I wonder if that ad actually helped. Like, did that clear up things? Or was that just, like... 
you know, did it just happen naturally? I don't know. Don't just manage stress. Blow its freaking head off. Time Crisis 2. The world's most popular shoot 'em up arcade game comes to the third place. See, you're feeling better already. Okay. The only other way to get non-stop gaming. Keep your games networked on a VJ online. Huh? All the time? What's the point of having only one game in the Genesis or SNES when you can attach it to six VJs, 36 carts at once? I don't know what that is 100%, but this is very Vine Ryzen-y. And it's a little cronenberg -y. Like, I feel like Existence could have been this. But in this case, it's just an extended uh, head. But again, some of these things, the virtual Jelk. Oh, I thought of a good name. Jelk, Sh Jelk Shipley is this guy's name. But no, I, I like... This is kind of gross in, in some ways. Not really gross, but it's just weird. But it's kind of memorable. <laughs> like if you're flipping through a magazine, because as a kid... As a kid... I read a magazine a month, and, like, you know, I would really read that whole fucking magazine. Because that's the source of video game information I had, was the video game magazine. So, I had to, like, kind of make it last. And, like, I would bring it, um, with me places. I would, like, eat dinner and read the magazine. And, um, some of these, like, ads and some of the pages would stick in my head. So, something like this, oh, <laughs> stick in my head. I just got that. This would stick in my head. Next time you fire up your PC, do it with deadly force. Virtua Squad. They're coming out of the... Th I know why you included this, because they're coming out of the screen. Domestic violence? Virtua Fighter. Yeah. The number one arcade game now invades the home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just, just have a big domestic violence across the fucking top of the page. Mental. <laughs> That's insane. But you know, again, it was a different time. And, and look at the kid's face. He, he loves it, apparently. Oh my god, that's so sad. And home invasion, too. Home invasion and domestic violence to sell a video game. Ugh. And uh, here's one. The way to a man's heart is through his rib cage. It's Xena. Xena lets her chakra... chakra eh, Xena lets her chakra fly in the fiercest adventure to hit place. I don't know why I couldn't read that sentence. Miss out and you'll be gutted. Listen, if I'm gonna die, I'm okay with Xena doing it, man. Like, Lucy Lawless can kill me. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, no, and, and then here's the last one. Original Wipeout, new Wipeout XL. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't even need to read this. I'm looking to see if it has any reference to the piss. But no, you just have to accept the piss. Again, totally cool, normal. Was that? Is that the diaper chief? No, 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 no. This is the diaper chief. <laughs> who made this? I have to find out who made this. Some, like, insane chat member. Askai Arts. All right. So yeah, just a different form of video game advertising. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Um, Oh, it's Askel Arts. Sorry. Uh, yeah. That was pretty good. Thanks, Mr. Flipnote, for putting that together. Pretty um, interesting soundtrack we had for that, too. But um, I'm sure in the future we could we could check out more. Like, I'm, I'm down for more print ads, but they got to be really, really good. Like, the best of the best.
I think this Wipeout ad is a reference to the game's previous magazine ad that caught a lot of controversy, so they responded by saying the ad and then the game would make them piss their pantaloons more. Huh. People are wishing me a happy 9-11 right now. Like, are you... That reminds me of that tragedy. <laughs> 